Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over a couple of uh, X-Wing basics. As you can see, I've got the Vassal map all up and running, so you can find this all on X-Wing Online. It's a nice tool to play around with. If you want to try and practice openings, get some games against opponents you don't know, it's not something I use too often because I do enjoy the actual social side of playing and the face-to-face -face part of the game but it's a really good tool and there's always players online so check that out at X-Wing Online and the basics that I wanted to cover is just really simple stuff we're going to keep this video short and then if we get a good reception I'll um, keep doing this kind of thing a couple of times a week so I don't know, flight school Fridays, something like that. So, simple things to consider first of all. So we have a nice little prototype pilot and a Lambda cl class shuttle. So, a large base ship, small base ship. So, really, really basics. Movement 1 and movement 2 template same size as the bases and that means if you go forwards a one with a small base ship you've gone one base went forwards simple you can't really get much simpler what it does mean however is a one forwards with a large base ship is actually three ba small base lengths. So, large ships moves faster than small base ships. Even if you're missing the faster moves on your dial, you actually are covering the same amount of ground. So, something to consider when you're moving the, sh the ship. If you're trying to hold a formation, you need to be aware that when you're flying with your large base ships you want to be going one less than your small bases and just simple stuff like that it's really really obvious i think but i don't know I've, i didn't want to assume too much for this video uh, the other things i can look at is the turns is a good one copy and sorry guys it's been a as i say i don't use this too often so so that's always a good image to put in So as you can see, you don't clear your own base with a hard turn. So it you don't quite move two base lengths forwards. So you can get some really tight maneuvers in there. Okay, so set. So I think that stuff's pretty obvious. When you look at the templates, put them down next to your ship, stuff like that, I feel like it gets pretty simple. Um, the other thing I wanted to go over in this video was a slight bit of formation flying, so nothing too special. So when X-Wing was first released, people would want the TIE fighters nice and tight wanting to keep those swarm formations and the problem with that is your available moves so there we've got what was a block formation of A-wings so they can move forwards pretty easily no bumps you can do hard turns 
but as soon as you start trying to do the banks it's where the problems come in so if you do the same bank you actually overlap the shift should show you now again sorry if this is pretty basic but obviously you're not the target audience if they, if you're finding this simple so as you can see if you do the same speed bank you overlap bases so you'd bump please your action should start using his shortcuts So I want to show you the two bank instead. So if you've gone for a box formation, you actually need to do the speed higher on the outside turn. As you can see, it still doesn't perfectly line up. So you're now starting to break your formation up even with doing the same moves and stuff like that. And that's why you tend not to see a box formation anymore. So that then evolved into a more spread out formation. This tends to be how you'll measure it. So you use the width of the one, which happens to be half a base length. And that lets you get a relatively tight formation. Still not as tight as touching edges, but that then allows you to do the same bank without it bumping. That works for the whole formation. Obviously, you're no longer in the square, so if you're flying directly at uh, an opponent's ship now, you won't have the f same range banding with everybody. But it's still a tight formation, it lets you fly your TIE fighters around in a pretty tight walk. From this position, you can still do any move you like with the whole formation. So, your yeah, turns will hold that pin, well, that cross formation. Obviously, any turns don't actually change your position within the formation. Too far. It's also worth noting the angles that you change at with the different moves. So my preferred way of doing it. Let's see if I can actually do this on Vassal anymore. It's been a while. So this is the Pisquit 
our um, the tighter pinwheel formation. I'm just trying to eyeball it just for demonstration purposes. So you have one ship set up, then the other one is perfectly in line with the edge, but obviously offset. And then the two other ones fill in the, the holes there. So this guy comes in at the, where the stem is, is half of the base length, which the range really, the movement template, sorry. So half a base length should put you in line with the stem. And then you want half of the gap in between the front and back ship. And the same again with this guy. So it's actually a little bit tight. But roughly a, around about there. So it's a tighter formation again. I'm just going to copy these. And I can show you some moves. So now we'll bank right, because we did all lefts earlier. So you see, you're still in roughly the same formation. Do the same banks again. You still haven't bumped, you're still holding that formation. Let's check on some hard turns. What have I done? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, yeah, we'll just fly this squad around. We'll ungo three ships. So there's a two hard, one bank, two hard, no, two bank, that one. can see none of them are bumping there's still loads of space so that's my favorite way of deploying you can do the same thing with uh, a, a larger number of ships but obviously you have to remember that it uh, let's see if I can show you There we go. So that says back in formation. Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> so bad at this. Again, I'm just eyeballing it, guys, so might not be exactly perfect should grab a range reel and make sure I'm not going it's uh And this is just what you do, you you basically keep practicing. Uh, I've done this wrong. Uh, 
think that's right. <laughs> Let's say it's been a while. So we'll find out. It doesn't look as neat and tidy, but we'll see how it goes. So. Hmm. <sighs> Computer's being slow. Come on. There we go. So, no bumps as of yet. Throw a one bank in there. Yeah, that top left ship definitely wasn't perfect. Yeah, so that still should, should never bump. Um, the thing you need to remember is you've got to be very precise with your movements if you're flying this type of formation, because the tighter in you get, the less margin for error you have when you're um, doing actually performing the maneuvers. And this works really, really well if you can hold a single pilot skill throughout the entire formation. As soon as you start putting in a higher pilot's pilot skill, you need to consider if you, whereabouts you want them, and it does restrict barrel rolls and boosting, for example. Boosting's not as bad, but the barrel roll can be pretty awkward. So, for example, we're going to bump this guy up. So this guy has suddenly become pilot skill three. He's got a promotion, well done. So nothing changes for the purpose of doing your moves. Just gonna get him into a better position. In like the 15 years it's taken for Vassal to process this. So as they all move together, it's fine. <laughs> yeah so eventually it should do something there we go so from this position he's now on the outside back corner so Pretending they've all got something that gives small base ships a barrel roll. Maybe we saw it in the Arc 170 pack, who can say? You need to make sure that this guy moves first. Because that clears the space for this guy. And that means that when it comes to this one, his, uh, and there's worlds of room. Alternatively, we'll pretend, so we'll do the move with these four. So we're going to do a two bank. Eventually, come on. So as you can see, the two bank still fits fine for him at the moment. We'll 
What's the room there? But if we barrel roll, no, right, as far forward as possible. So I'm going forwards because that's best case scenario. And now he doesn't fit. So you can't put the highest pilot skill guy on the inside of the formation if you're looking to do barrel rolls inside the table basically that's i think the best way of summarizing that um anything else i think i've covered all of the basics for small base movement formations there um so the best thing to do is if you download vassal and have a play or just throw your ships on the kitchen table and just practice those moves thanks a lot guys and i'll see you again pretty soon because i'm about to record more if you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button feel free to check me out on social media it's dice hate productions on facebook just chris sheriff on twitter uh, you can find uh, me on twitch on various guises um, and thanks for your support and keep watching guys thank you and